Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Will with the Drawing Time this with Will. Uh, originally, we were going to do this live, but due to the fact that I'd already done two live ones today, I felt like I'd go ahead and do this one a little bit recorded. It gave me a chance to try a new editing software to see how it would work out. And that way I can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and come in with this and talk to you about the piece I'm doing. Uh, if this is your first time on the channel, please go ahead and do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, so for some of y'all who may see the see it as we're working on a piece there, uh, this is part of a request that was asked to me a couple weeks ago for um, a live drawing time I did a few weeks ago, where somebody had said, "Hey, I would like to see Carnage from Marvel from the Marvel Universe, my Marvel Comics come in." So I'm kind of starting to fill in my lines and everything for Carnage. For those who may not know, um, Carnage is the spawn of the Venom character from Marvel Universe. And so one thing that's really interesting about Carnage is that he, is, he basically, the symbiote broke off of Venom and got on to a, a I believe he was convicted villain. Uh, he, had, he had murdered several people. And so uh, needless to say, when the symbiote got a hold of him and got on him, his name was Cletus Cassidy. And he got a hold of him, and when he did, he became even more psychotic because then he went from being just a killer, and now he has a killer with abilities like being able to do some little shape shifts and also to be able to take his hands and turn them into dangerous weapons and have knives come all out of his body and stuff like that. So just imagine a deranged psychotic killer getting power, the power of a venom symbiote, and then being able to figure out creative ways to hurt people and so it got so bad that Venom and Spider-Man actually had to team up to take him out if you know anything about Venom you know Venom himself is not a big fan of uh, helping Spider-Man out and Spider-Man certainly isn't a fan of helping Venom so when you got something so bad that you have to join forces with your one of your most hated rivals and I know the Green Goblin by many people are is the Green Goblin is considered by many people to be Spider-Man's worst enemy. But let's be honest, uh, Venom, to me, just has so much on Peter that, that the Green Goblin doesn't have. The Green Goblin is the smart, he's the scientist and all that, so of course he's going to outrank a lot of the villains that Spider-Man has, and Spider-Man has a huge rogues gallery, but Carnage and Venom are kind of right up there. Anyway, so I started working on this, and really what I wanted to do was just get something where Carnage is kind of coming up behind somebody and uh, about to try to get him and do his thing uh, using the tentacles that he can produce and different things like that. Also, you know, like I said, coming up with knives that just come out of the middle of his skin and different things like that. So that's what I was doing. That's what I was trying to portray. Like what, what you know, now the question becomes, who's the person in front of him? And I'll start talking about that a little bit now. Um, you may start to see about a hair. It's, you know, it's not a Dragon Ball Z character. Uh, it's definitely not. Uh, in the same way, you know, Marvel Comics a while back did this big crossover with DC called, I believe it was DC Marvel Access. And at one point, you actually had uh, Carnage show up and fight the Joker. And there was some fan voting involved and things like that. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of put the Joker in this picture as well. I thought it'd be really neat to have the Joker who, in a lot of ways... Um, is Batman's just as, you know, as Batman's all this discipline and so forth, Joker is very much the chaos to Batman's order. And so that's why I think when you look at the two villains, the Joker and the Carnage share a lot. This, this you know, the only difference is I think the Joker is just a little bit more unpredictable. And so I think if they really got into a fight, I think, you know, Joker may end up, you know, outsmarting Cletus Cassidy somehow and getting the suit for himself. Or um, he just found a way to kill him apart from the suit. I don't know how that would work, but you, know, you guys can talk about that in the comments. So by the way, guys, comment below what you'd like to see me draw next. Um, you probably saw that flash on the screen a little bit ago, but if it flashed too quick, just to let you know what that is. Yeah, go ahead and put on there what you want me to draw next, because you know Saturday is coming, and so there'll be another opportunity for a draw through. If not, I'll come up with my own ideas and do something. But anyway, so this is kind of the picture that's going on. This is. Uh, like I said, it's Carnage sneaking up, trying to sneak up on Joker. Uh, if you'll notice there, it's kind of the ace of spades because I think the Joker, you know, can be rather underestimated. But at the end of the day, I think Joker has an ace up his, oh, ace, 
in the hole in a lot of ways. Um, sometimes that haste in the hole could just be he's thought things out about two steps ahead. And then sometimes I believe that Joker is just ahead of the game because he's had to face Batman, who's probably the world's greatest detective, who's been called the world's greatest detective. And, you know, so Batman, and so Batman pushes you. You know, I can imagine as much as Joker pushes Batman, I'm sure that Batman pushes him too. It really makes him have to step his game up as well because, you know, not many people can, you know, can handle the insanity of the Joker other than Batman. So that's kind of where that is. And that's kind of how that goes. So they're just finishing this up. I'm going in and shading in the back and getting the chest and everything shaded in for Carnage. Because one thing about Carnage's skin is that there's a lot of black, like that symbiote. He is red and black. And that black is kind of the ooziness of the suit. So guys, make sure to be blessed and be a blessing to somebody. That's important. That's one of the things you'll always hear me say usually at the end of my videos, but I wanted to go ahead and get that there. So anyway, guys, this is my, this is just about done. We're just about finishing this up. And look here, because there's Joker and Carnage. Take care, guys. And enjoy yourselves. That's important.